Don't you just want to sign up? All you have to do is write your name and address, and you'll get reserved seats at my show! I tried to make the form as comfy cozy as possible, so it's a cinch! Do you need a pen? Danger! Oh, this? Don't be ridiculous. It's not a marriage certificate. Look closely, okay? Throw away all your hang-ups and simply do what you feel. Aren't you just dying to sign? Won't it feel good? Three, two, one. Sign! All you need to do is initial here to join my fan club today. Then you can get your hands on exclusive merch. And skip the line at my concerts. How about it? You really want to sign up now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Coming on a little strong, huh? I'll try to keep up. You're not even out of breath. But my lungs are top notch, too. Now you're getting serious? Then I'm turning it up to 11! Oh. Thanks for coming, Mom. going old together, right? They call each other these sweet nicknames like Honey and Darling. At the end, get this, it turns out they've been singing the story of their lives to their kids and grandkids. Oh, a lovely life without regrets. Hey. So my first album has this track about old lovers reuniting in the afterlife, right? You went to heaven, but I went to hell. Such a cruel cosmic mistake. We reach for each other's hands, transcending the wall between heaven and hell for a truly miraculous reunion. Now that's everlasting love. Hey. <laughs> if I played for you, Soul, I'd play a rock song that's rough around the edges, but gentle on the inside. A song for you to listen to whenever you're alone with a special someone. That way, I can liven up every page of your happy love story. If I played for you, Kai, you'd expect something elegant and get my very soul blasting through every beat. I want this sound all to myself, you'd say, as you make me your personal royal bard. <laughs> if I played for you, May, I'd play a bright yet melancholy romantic melody. Reaching hands that never touch, distance that never closes. Oh, when will he notice me? Uh, did I get it wrong? Danger. Sorry about that. If I played for you, Axel, I'd play a serenade of two lovers reunited at last by destiny. Oh, how dramatic! Could it be me one day? Oh, please invite me to your wedding. You'd better, okay? If I played for you, Chip, I'd play an Enka, just like the Japanese used to love. A soulful duet, sung by two, with their eyes locked on each other. No, no, the whole Eastern Chip Kingdom is watching. Hey. If I played for you, Potemkin, 
I'd write an original march and parade it through Zep. No matter how harsh your training may be, with my music behind you, you'll power through it. <laughs> Am I a genius or what? Hey. If I played for you, Dr. Faust, I'd make healing music to comfort your patients. But they won't be the only one it soothes, dear doctor. I prescribe a generous dose of my healing voice. <laughs> if I played for you, Milia, I'd write a cool, mature, and feminine love song. Just leave it to Spayotos Fanaticus. Why, you ask? <laughs> As a cool, mature woman myself, that sort of thing is my jam. Danger. If I played for you, Zato, I'd... <laughs> Not interested. Good one. Wait, are you serious? There's a little voice inside you saying I should hear her out, right? Not in the slightest. Let me see. <laughs> so, my first album... I've always wanted to start a band with you, Ram. We'd wear matching outfits and sing cute songs together. What if we get so popular that fans from all over the world pull us in every which way and we get torn to pieces and ground to dust? <gasps> If I played for you, Leo, I'd write an ode that praises you hardcore. It'll be etched in stone to be sung for hundreds of years. And what bold composer's name is carved beside it? El Felt Valentine! Future generations will wonder who was this incredible artist! <laughs> hey. If I played for you, Nagori Yuki, I... Wait, does this mean you're coming to my show? You'll grumble and say you don't like crowds and all that, but Sunflowers is my secret admirer. Oh, I love all my fans equally, but I'll set a ticket aside just for you! Hey. How about a nice, relaxing folk song for you, Giovanna? If you like what you hear, why not round up all your friends and co-workers and bring them all to my show? I sure don't look excited about that. For you, Anji, I'd write an upbeat, totally danceable tune. May I hide this dance? Oh, but I've got two left feet. It's fine, just follow me. And then you'll put your big strong hand in mine? Uh oh! I'd love to share the stage with you, Eno. My slick, polished girl power will meet your fierce pheromones in the pit. The fans might literally faint just watching us. Oh, we're such baddies. Instead of standing out in the crowd, Gold Lewis, I'd rather have you guarding my green room. The famous artist needs all the security she can get. Then it's Mr. Gold Lewis to the rescue! Your steadfast defense would stop the pushiest of fans! Over my dead body, hoss! <laughs> hey. If I played for you, Jacko, I'd write a choral piece so your servants can sing along too! I know it'd be a blast to have everyone singing together. And of course, I'd write parts for Sol and Kai to sing too. So, my first album has... How about a different free jazz arrangement for every day of the week, Mr. Chaos? Chase after it all you want, but you'll never grasp it. And just when you get tired of it, it tempts you anew with a sudden sweetness. woo -hoo! No human could resist that. <laughs> if I played for you, Viking, I dedicate a heavy metal lullaby to you. A dreamy song that can capture any child's heart and put them to sleep in three seconds. Huh? They go to sleep on their own without music? I see. If I played for you, Testament, I'd try my hand at opera. A difficult step outside my comfort zone, but 
What's this? Clapping from the crowd! Opera is where you truly shine, say the scouts. The next thing you know, I'm the biggest opera singer in the world! Hang on, is this a tragedy or a comedy? I'd love to write a rhythmical poppy song to accompany your yo-yoing, Bridget. Would it be so cute? Maybe too cute. What if you get more popular than me? I'd better learn to yo-yo, too. If I played for you, Sin, I'd make it a simple nursery song. I came up with a death metal nursery song just the other day. I want to get your reaction. But first, cover your ears. And keep them covered, because this is going to get loud. You were only trying to do what's best for your sister. I think I get how that feels. That feeling? That's probably what it means to be family. We should have an experimental jam sesh, Asuka! Your musicality shines free from preconceived notions. You flex new music theory, explore unknown chord progressions, and put on an unimaginable performance. Wait. Then what am I supposed to do? If I played for you, Johnny, I'd write a theme song for your pirate crew. I thought of a great shanty that'll make anyone, young or old, man or woman, want to enlist in a heartbeat. You only want girls? Yikes. Huh? You want to be the vocalist too? Hmm, there's only one mic. Wait, if we take turns, this just might be my chance to make the Elfelt Valentine 100-hour concert I've dreamed of into a reality. 